so basically what we're going to do um, is just write down some numbers, some of the uh, parameters of the missiles, two of the missiles that Iran used, and just do a little visual Iran here, Israel here. And because Iran retaliated against Israel over the weekend uh, for their attack on the Iranian embassy consulate in Syria, which is sort of a declaration of war because that's <laughs> Iranian territory. So this was sort of retaliation, so in, you know, tit for tat and stuff like this, saying, hey, you guys attacked us, we're attacking you, and whatnot. And one of the reasons I feel comfortable about doing this is because in Iran's attack, nobody died, right? Which is, oh, like, in terms of one country attacking another country with hundreds of missiles and drones, n killing no one, just sending a message, man, that's like... There's no such thing as a more moral war. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in war. But if you're going to wage more war, and even a war on that scale, which was pretty huge, and you intentionally make sure that you don't kill anyone, one of the reasons you're able to do that is because you warn the other party that you're going to attack them. You warn them and their allies saying, hey, in three days, we're going to hit you. Heads up don't retaliate back because we're doing a precision strike we're going to hit military targets only and take all your people out of those areas that we're going to hit uh, because they're military bases because we don't want to kill anyone like i've never heard of a war being conducted on this level by any nation in history period and that allows us to do a little bit of time distance problem for mathematics because there's no moral dilemma for me that i'm very anti-war person i don't believe in war nobody died oh wow let's do some war math right so that's what we're going to do today and it's going to be very simple we've got time to do other things we can do more complicated speed distance problems but this one is just going to be simplistic right uh but i thought it would be it's current events it's mathematics nobody died uh yeah i mean i i don't think we're going to get too many opportunities to do some war math where nobody dies right uh, one person got hurt um and that's you know i don't know uh, I, I haven't there's not too much information one kid uh but it was a bedouin kid supposedly but how is that possible? Is it, po is it possibly because allies of Israel were shooting down missiles as they were going through and they, the, one of the shrapnels hit someone on the way down? Because by all indications, it wasn't Iran's doing because Iran targeted specific areas, right? So, uh, but we'll leave that alone, right? 